Do you know why people are poor? Why does the majority of the planet's population have financial difficulties? It seems that the answer is on the surface. Everyone who got rich had more opportunities, more connections and acquaintances to create their financial success. But in reality, it is not like that at all. The majority of people are born with the same opportunities and only a third of them use them correctly. That third knew exactly what they had to do to get rich. People who achieved a certain level of success had unique knowledge that allowed them to reach the top. Robert Kiyosaki believes that we cannot get rich because we are not properly educated, public systems of knowledge are not designed to tell us how money works, where we can make money and what we need to do to achieve that. This is why Kiyosaki believes that people must urgently take responsibility for their financial education and start getting the right knowledge as early as possible in order to become financially successful. Today I am going to share this knowledge with you, because it has been available for a long time. In his book dedicated to financial education, Robert Kiyosaki reveals all the steps to increase your financial intelligence and eventually get rich. Right now, I am going to reveal these steps, and rest assured that after watching the video till the end, you will learn the absolute secret of wealth. Robert Kiyosaki divides financial intelligence into five cornerstones. The businessman claims that if each of them is developed proportionally, monetary success will not keep you waiting. The first part of financial intelligence is learning how to make more money. It seems logical. We go to work to get money. But unfortunately, that is not the point. First of all, you should not work to make money, but to learn how to make much more money. Let me give you an example. Kiyosaki's first job was deliberately chosen with a lower salary so that Robert could learn how to sell. Thanks to this experience, he was later able to open his own company. No book or seminar can replace real experience in the field. In practice, a person learns much faster and more effectively. Choose the job that will give you more knowledge and experience for further realization, not just a good salary at the end of the month. In addition, Kiyosaki points out the importance of hardships. To learn how to make more money, Robert strongly recommends not giving up when you encounter challenges along the way because they are what allow you to learn how to solve problems and increase your financial intelligence. Fixed one problem? Move on to the next one. By solving more difficult problems, you gain valuable experience that allows you to increase your financial knowledge. Also, solve other people's money problems. No, this is not about lending money to your neighbor. If you have the opportunity, help a person solve financial difficulties with advice, analysis of their current situation, and so on. Kiyosaki is sure that this is one of the main secrets to increasing income. This advice is supported by the fact that the more serious problems a company solves, the more successful it becomes. The same is true for an individual. The more experience you gain by solving various problems, even not your own, the better you will be trained in how to make more money. The second part of financial intelligence is knowing how to protect your finances. Kiyosaki says that the world is full of predators who want to take your money. A person must learn how to give these predators as little money as possible. Set a goal to pay less wherever possible. Kiyosaki gives some great examples. For instance, we are swindled by banks promising 10% annual interest on your savings. They give your money away as a loan at 20 or even 30%. Kiyosaki also includes brokers and financial advisors as predators. These people often have no real experience in finance, don't realize that the rules of money have changed and give outdated and risky advice at high prices. And there are dozens of other examples. The main thing to do about it? First, don't believe anyone. Unfortunately, our world is built in such a way that most people just want to profit from our problems. Protect your money and use only experienced lawyers, accountants, and tax specialists. And perhaps most importantly, learn to manage your finances yourself. Stop trusting fake experts to manage your money and learn all the financial issues yourself. Take your time, learn at your own pace, but then you will be sure that no one is going to cheat you. Financial IQ Part 3 is about knowing how to manage your money. Now that you have protected your money and succeeded in earning much more than before, you need to learn how to create a budget surplus. In simple words, the access of income over expenses. First of all, you need to understand the most important truth. It is impossible to have a surplus if you spend a lot of money. Robert says that no matter how much a person earns, it is important to first learn how to pay yourself and make asset acquisition a priority. Savings and investments are the most important, 
but this can also include courses, sports subscriptions, and charity. Kiyosaki believes that a person should enjoy life, and even when things are difficult, continue to maintain a certain level of it. Spend on assets, and use the first element of financial intelligence to make even more money. Imagine that you have given up all benefits for the sake of wealth. Your morale, motivation, and any desire to achieve new things will be at zero. It's important to maintain a fighting spirit, which is the essence of Kiyosaki's advice to maintain a certain standard of living, but it should be in moderation. In addition, Robert recommends writing down your expenses. The author compares this information to a crystal ball. It is very easy to predict a person's financial future just by looking at their expenses. A person who spends the most on assets, investments, savings, etc. will inevitably get richer. On the other hand, a person who spends the most on consumer goods and other material goods will end up with nothing. Control your expenses, analyze their status, and make adjustments when you realize that you have taken a wrong turn. In addition, Robert Kiyosaki suggests that you remember another truth forever. Your assets should pay for your liabilities. As I mentioned earlier, the businessman believes that everyone should enjoy their life. But here it is important to determine who will pay for it. For example, you have decided to buy a nice car for yourself, calculate its cost, and add the monthly maintenance. Now, the most important thing is that before you buy a car, you must make it an asset of yours to pay for it. That is, you need to find something that will generate enough money to cover your car expenses. For example, a rental property can do this. The key idea is that you don't just spend money to buy goods that satisfy you. You first create a new source of income. Use all your previously learned knowledge of the first and second parts of financial intelligence and eventually come out on the plus side and acquire the desired material goods. And if you're facing financial difficulties, then it's time to spend even more money. Surprising advice, isn't it? Here's how Robert Kiyosaki explains it. Usually when a business is in financial trouble, they desperately start cutting back on spending, when in fact they need to increase their marketing and advertising spending to revive sales. The same is true for a person. If you are in financial trouble, you should increase your spending on assets, those things that generate income, or perhaps take on what is known as good debt. This term refers to borrowing money to buy assets. Kiyosaki always pointed out the positive aspects of good debt and along with analyzing and recording your expenses, the ability to acquire assets, even to pay for liabilities, will 100% develop the third element of financial intelligence. The fourth part of financial IQ is about what everyone needs to do to make money. It will be about investing. Robert Kiyosaki says that investing plays a key role in the strategy for achieving financial independence. He cautions against limiting yourself to traditional investments such as savings, accounts, or bonds, and instead suggests looking at other types of investments. Real estate, for example. Kiyosaki places great emphasis on investing in this area. He believes that investing in real estate can provide a steady passive income in the form of rent payments and appreciation of square footage over time. The next option is securities. Various financial instruments such as stocks can help build a portfolio that generates income and grows over time. One other type is business investments. Kiyosaki supports the idea of starting your own business or investing in business ventures. He believes that entrepreneurship can be one of the most powerful ways to create wealth. Robert emphasizes that investing requires learning and recommends that readers deepen their knowledge of financial markets and investment strategies. By understanding this area in more detail, you will be able to boost the fourth element of financial intelligence. You're almost there. Remember, each fragment is incredibly important and cannot exist without the other. In the end, you will be waiting for an additional secret key to wealth that is used by all billionaires. But for now, let us move on to the fifth piece of financial intelligence. It should consist of knowing how to properly manage the information available to you. Kiyosaki remembers his younger years in Vietnam. When he was in the army, part of his job was to collect and process top secret information. It was then that Robert realized its importance. The importance of knowing how to handle it. If you analyze information correctly and understand its essence, it will be your greatest asset, says Kiyosaki. We are living in the age of information. Information equals wealth. The main advantage of the modern age is that information is now valuable, accessible, free, and there is more than enough of it. The main flaw, however, 
is that information is valuable, accessible, free, and there is more than enough of it. In other words, too much information kills information. And to know how to use it properly, you must develop your fifth element of financial intelligence. Share in the comments how much money you would like to make each month. Let's set a specific money goal. Start following Robert Kiyosaki's advice and in six months, we'll come back to your comments and compare. Got what we wanted.